art is very important to us because that's how we tell our stories. For us, art is always connected to our culture and identity. And it tells us who we are and it tells the wider world who we are. Our modern works today on canvas, ceramics, fabric, they still tell a story that's been passed down from generation to generation until since a week ago. But we tell that story in a new contemporary way. We observe and we see what's around us when we're walking through the land. And then we have a new idea to do a painting or drawing. But it doesn't come from our mind. It always comes from our heart. Well, for us, we are the freshwater people. Water is a big theme because we live right next to the mighty Daly River. And our works are always based around the billabongs, creeks, rivers, bush tucker that we collect from the water. Water lilies from the billabongs, animals like turtles and fish. what we gather from the land. The land is part of us and we are part of the land. Well, when I was little, my grandmother whispered into my ears, my totems and to be humble when I grow up. All my works are based around like weaving. like the fish nets and fish trap, pandanas and the different fibers. Because that's what I always seen when I was little, growing up. Well, I come from a very long line of master weavers and artists. My great grandmother, grandmother and my mother. I used to hang, hang around all the old ladies. We used to go out into the bush and I used to watch them collect sand, palm, pandanus and different bush dyes. That was my first classroom with my own people and my own culture. I used to play around with the um, fibers that they were stripping and I would try my best to do what they were doing, but my grandmother or my mother would have smacked me on the hand and said, you are not allowed to be because you're a maid. And then growing up, I wanted to be an artist. And then I asked my grandmother and great-grandmother for permission to do um, art about weaving, so I did it on canvas and textile. So that's how I do what they were doing to showcase what I love but in a new contemporary way. Sometimes when I'm painting I think that the old people are still around watching me. Sometimes when I go out into the bush I can still hear them walking through the bush and I can still see me running along with them and they still saying to me, come and hurry up. And it gives me more energy to put a new idea or new work onto my canvas.
canvas or paper. Well, in my works you can see many lines and dots or squiggly lines because I see it in the land. The land is not always still. So you can see the movement in my work. And the line is the water flowing. Or the trees, or the leaves, the grass. When I go into the land, I can feel the land. It is breathing, and I am breathing with the land. And I can see the, uh, all people's movement in my painting and the ancestors, then that's how they speak to me. I didn't choose to be an artist. I was born to be one. It runs through my blood. It's important for us to keep on telling our stories, but in a new way, to show the young generation. Our works go from here all around the world. It makes us feel very strong. So the people that are seeing our works know that we are still here as Aboriginal people and we're still living in our own ways and we're still telling our old stories.